This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. This guy left an interesting comment. He said, uh, this is a response to, uh, I, I guess I did a video where I was talking about women having different methods of communication, which I do uh, quite a lot. Uh, he said, I'm cool with women having different methods and wanting the respect and freedom of agency, meaning to be able to come and go as they please. But if they are doing something dumb, I'm going to tell them they are doing something dumb. The difference is razor thin. I'm not being pedantic. What she is doing is objectively dumb, irrational, irrelevant, or unproductive. Criticism, whether we like it or not, is an integral in a relationship. There's malignant criticism, constructive criticism, et cetera. But a lot of people, men and women, cannot handle even the slightest bit of criticism. For both men and women, the inability is ego-driven. Women test men, and men should do the same thing. During the dating period, criticize her to see her reaction. If she blows off the, if she blows off the rails in an emotional response, she isn't the one. So this is what I say when I say there's levels to how this works. Because here's the thing. What he's saying isn't completely inaccurate, but he's not taking into account the times at which this should happen, right? So for example, early on he's saying, um, if they're doing something dumb, I'm going to tell them they are doing something dumb. Well, the question is, do you know, like your judgment of what is dumb and her judgment is going to be different. He's saying there's things that are objective and there's pedantic and stuff like that. But the reality is that what you feel is dumb could not be dumb to her. For example, let's say a woman wants to spend like $2,000 of her hard-earned money on Taylor Swift tickets, right? Now, she's got a movie of her concert coming out on Friday, which will cost all like 13 bucks, right? So you can look at those two things and say, why would you spend $2,000 to go to a Taylor Swift concert when she's going to have a movie out and you're going to spend 13? Like that's so freaking dumb. Now to her, Taylor Swift is, is the, the person she follows the most and connects with most in music. And, you know, Taylor saved her life by a song that she played one day. And so you're now calling something of hers dumb that to her means the entire world. You're saying you spending all this money to get front row tickets to this concert is dumb when to her, she could have been waiting 13 years to go to this concert, right? And so this gets into early on in the dating process, you calling her situations and, and things dumb is a judgment call whereby you haven't been around long enough to understand if the thing you're calling dumb is actually dumb to her. On top of, there are plenty of like psychological reasons why a woman may find something that to her makes logical sense that to you, is completely dumb, you know? The whole thing I talk about all the time with guys about like women being direct and wish they could be more direct and blah, 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 blah. There are psychological and societal reasons why women aren't as direct. But for you to come and say, you're not being direct with me, that's so dumb. Again, you're making a judgment call when you have not spent enough time with her to really call out if she's doing something dumb or not. So this is why early on, you're just all about examining and doing research on her in that first three months to get a full feel of the things that she's into, why she's into them, why she believes the things that she does, why she's interested in, in what she's into in terms of her hobbies and stuff like that. Like you going about dating as a research project and not being so judgmental early on will give you enough data about her to then start making judgments later on and deciding if she's the right person for you. But you going on a date and she's like, oh yeah, so I did this thing this week and blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's so dumb. You don't know her enough to know why the story behind why it is the thing that she felt that she did isn't as dumb as you're saying it is. And this goes on both fronts because women, I'm sure there are plenty of things that women look at guys and they're like, that's so dumb. Like, why are you spending your money this way? Why are you obsessed with video games so much? Why are you X, Y, and Z? And we wouldn't want women coming to us and saying, you're so dumb. Now, to this other point though, it's not to say that criticisms can't arise because to his point, you do want to kind of test women early on to see how they're going to respond to criticism. But you do that in the moment based on things that are actively affecting you. For example, if I go on a second date for a woman with example, for example, and like say our meet, meet up time is seven o'clock and she gets there at 7.30, for one, I'm, I'm leaving at 7.15, I don't stay a half hour. But even with that, she's like, hey, where'd you go, blah, blah, blah. I'd be like, oh, I got there at seven o'clock. You weren't there, so I left. Like I told you, I'm a guy that's on time. So if you wanna do this again, let's, let's do that. But like, I, th that's not respectful of my time. That's a situation where something actually came up in the moment whereby I'm now feeling disrespected. I now have to address it. And me addressing it is my way of seeing one, if she's going to like be able to cop to it and say, oh my God, my bad, I'm sorry, and apologize. And B, if she's going to be respectful going forward 
after this criticism. But that's a criticism that's happening in real time, not just I'm going to criticize her because uh, I need to do it as a test. Like, no, you criticize when things legitimately come up that are going to potentially affect you and your relationship. And then you make a comment about it. If and if that when that happens and she reacts negatively about it, then, yeah, you know that. You have a woman that's going to potentially blame you for anything that happens in the relationship or is not going to be respectful of your time or what you need, at which point, yeah, you get out. But 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 again, going back to you, you're not trying to like call women stuff dumb or you're irrational. You're not being you're not thinking the right way because there's no need to do that in a relationship. Any anyway. also like you can you can criticize a woman's choices and decisions without having to go the insult route of calling it dumb or guys do it all the time. You're being stupid. You're being irrational. That's not a thing. That's so dumb. And we're taking it like it's no big deal because we can do that amongst our guy friends and guys won't be nearly as hurt by it. But women are words people and they're feelings people. And when you throw out things like you're dumb, that thought you had is irrational. Why would you do that? That's so lame. Like women take that to heart. And then women hold have a memory like elephants. So they hold on to that thing that you said long after it said. I dated a woman one time where I told her, like, like um, she had a flat butt. I was just like, oh, like she's like, oh, I have a really curvaceous butt. And I was like, actually, it's kind of flat. And for the remainder of the time we dated, she would bring that up like once a week. Oh, do you think my butt's flat? And I learned, oh, maybe like, even if I'm saying it in a joking way, maybe I shouldn't say stuff like that because there's no sense in being a negative ninny if the woman's going to hold on to that and then have that comment in her head and be able to repeat it to herself nonstop that you, the person she cares about, said this negative thing to her at one point in time. Again, this does not mean you can't ever criticize a woman, but if you're going to do it, go about it in a way where it's a reasonable criticism. It's not attacking her person. It's not attacking you know, her ideas about things. And it's just really coming from a place of like, this is why this thing was bugging me, pestering me. Let's change this up going forward. All right. So hopefully, guys, this helps you out. <laughs>